So what I have here today is the complete uh, Mopar set, which is sold at Walmart. Um, I'm not sure if these came in uh, bins, but I've noticed they showed up on the pegs. So they may have came in boxes by themselves. I think there was another set, Honda, that did come in bins, but I'm not 100% sure on these, because... I pieced these together at a few different stores. Um, at least one of them was hard to find. And I think it might be one of the cars that are going to be scalped the most. Um, there were at least two cars that I didn't find right away. Um, I had to look two times, but stores were getting them in, I think, periodically. Uh, these cars cost a little more than a dollar. I think dollar twenty-seven somewhere is near there to maybe a dollar fifty. Um... Like I said, they're only sold at Walmart. I don't think any place else sells them. Maybe outside the country they might be uh, sold elsewhere. So um, this is a 2018 set. Um, I'm saying 2018 just in case they do another set. And uh, the card art's pretty much about the same on all these. The only thing different would be the car itself is different. I believe the background is the same on each one. Um, not sure exactly what this background is. You can leave that down in the comments. I assume it's maybe somewhere in Detroit, since I believe Dodge is from Detroit. Um, Mopar is a bunch of car companies. Um, Chrysler, Dodge, and maybe a, another company. Um, Plymouth, I think, is owned by Dodge or in that family. Um, here's the back on these. Um, I won't have to show you the back on each one because they're all the same. Go each sold separately, subject to availability. Colors and decoration may vary. They put that on there because they do vary. Sometimes you might get a little different in color when they're printed. You get a slight variation, and then the wheels might be different. Anyways, this is the 2013 SRT Viper. It's one of eight. Um, I don't save the card art anymore, so I just rip them right open. Oops, dropped it. We'll take a look at it. Take a spin. It's got these nice wheels on them. Got some uh, front detail there. Okay, next one is a cool car. It's a van. Um, Dodge 77, custom 77 Dodge van. Uh, it's two of eight. Pretty cool. That's like the old logo they used in the day, I think. Um, not really sure how long they used that for. I think the 90s were, they were still using it, or maybe the 80s. I think my parents had a car, and I'm not sure if it was used on both Dodge and Chrysler vehicles. But, you know, I don't really look into cars, real cars that much. Nice. I think a lot of people like vans, though. And this is still cool casting. I thought this one was going to be a little difficult to find. And it kind of was. Wasn't that hard after a while. I found one or two. And not that much detail compared to the other one. Still a pretty cool car. It's probably one of my favorites of them. Uh, next is 3 of 8. I really like the color on this one. This is the Dodge Charger Drift Car. Take it out. We'll give it a spin. Like a... I'm not sure what color that would be. Is it like a... Almost like a neon green. Still a pretty cool car. Uh, let's see. Um, next one is the f 4 of 8. The Dodge Viper S uh, GTS-4. Give it an open. Throw it aside. Yeah, sometimes they put out these sets because there's anniversaries with the vehicles um like a branding anniversary like dodge chevy um or a specific model like i believe they had a camaro set and a mustang set in previous years and they also have a honda set 
which I believe I've got all of them, so I might do another video pretty soon um, featuring those. Uh, next, 71 Plymouth Road Runner, uh, 5 of 8. I'm not sure if Plymouth is around anymore. I believe my mom had a Plymouth, and it broke down after maybe a year or so. Pretty cool car. We'll move on to the next one. A Dixie Challenger. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a real model, but it's probably a Dodge Challenger. I don't know what makes it a Dixie Challenger. It might be because of that's what Hot Wheels called it at some point. Um, but you can leave information in the comments about that if you have any or I could look it up if I feel like it so this is a pretty cool car um, six of eight so we got two more cars nice red color got some gold wheels on there okay I want to check the date on this car it says 2007 and it's called the 70 Dodge Challenger. Um, yeah, as you can see it right there. I notice a few cars do have two different names on them. Uh, they, I don't know why they changed the name. Why they can't call this the 70 Dodge Challenger. Um, maybe they released other versions. Like the next one is the 70 Dodge Challenger RT. So it's pretty much a similar vehicle. Uh... Take a look at it. It's a nice red color. Uh, 7 of 8. Okay. Very nice red. Give it a spin. And that's pretty cool. Uh, next one, which is the last one, and it was also the last one I found. Um, the 70 Dodge Power Wagon. Pretty cool truck. It's all metal. So that could be why people are buying them up or even scalping them. I think I saw someone selling this somewhere. Um, I think the reason why this one was left behind, this is the only one I found, was because that it had a bend in the card. So maybe someone didn't want to sell it for that reason. So you rarely ever see these castings when they're all metal like this. Um, too often in the lineup. Except like a uh, few cars I think. Um, usually the Hot Wheels original designs. And then a few cars I think as a, a Volkswagen Beetle. Maybe another one I think a Camaro is still all metal. But they really are limited to only a handful of cars that are all metal. Um, if you want all metal cars, you usually have to pay a few dollars more. I think they're around five dollars. May as well give this one a final spin. It looks like the only thing plastic on these are the windows, the wheels, and the uh, interior. So that's pretty much about it. Um, this set was a pretty decent set. Um, there are eight cars in total. Um, most of them are worth the price, or mainly this one is worth the price. Dollar fifty or so is about how much they are. I think these were a dollar twenty-nine to dollar fifty. Um, this is probably the one that's worth the most because it's all metal. Um, the other ones are plastic and metal, just like a regular mainline. Um, yeah, but, you know, if I find another one of these, I'll probably keep it carded. Anyways, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.